Today, on Pat's Car Garage, there is a much easier way to rebuild limited slip differentials. I see a lot of people banging on their side gears with brass punches to walk the spider gears out of the carrier. You don't need to do that. Pictured here is the carrier of a Dana 35, but this method will work on any differential where the clutch pack spring is located behind the side gears. This will work on a Dana track lock and Ford posi traction axles. What you need to do is put an axle shaft in a bench vise, place the carrier on the axle shaft, compress the opposite side gear clutch pack with a bolt, nut and two thick washers. The washers that hold a grinding disc to an angle grinder fit perfectly for this. Then simply rotate the carrier by hand and the spider gears will walk right out. Yes! Oh my god, that worked! <laughs> X, right here, X. Be sure to mark one side of the carrier as well as the corresponding spider gear and thrust washer. You want to put them back into the same side they came from. Afterwards, all you have to do is loosen the bolt and you can remove both side gears. Now use limited slip additive as you are stacking your new clutches to lubricate them for the first time you start driving on your rebuilt differential. Do the exact same thing for the clutches on the other side gear. Put a dab of grease on the clip so they stay in place while you load the side gear into the carrier. I used some zip ties to hold the top side gear in place so I could snug the nut and bolt on the opposite side before flipping the carrier over. The setup for putting the spider gears is exactly the same as removing them. The only difference is we won't put the thrust washers in just yet. We need to make room to fit the thrust washers. We'll do this by compressing the other side's clutch pack as well. This will create enough of a gap to slide the thrust washers in place. You should also make sure the cross pin slides across both spider gears so that everything is lined up correctly. So the reason this trick works is because the clutches that are behind the, um, the side gears, they don't put pressure behind against the carrier, right? Because remember, even if they did put, I mean, obviously they do put pressure, but that's not where the friction comes from in its, you know, complete sense. So what's happening is, uh, like, yes, you have friction against the housing and the gear, but you need these, you need the same amount of force going up from the bottom one through the spider gears. This is what gives your limited slip action. But as soon as you compress one and you take off all the pressure between the bottom and top gear, for example, then these are free to move, right? They're free to rotate. And so is the bottom one for that matter, because it no longer has that pressure from the top coming down on it. So this allows you to turn the carrier and walk the, uh, the spider gears out. But now, of course, putting uh, new clutch packs in, it's all gonna be tighter. So you can only put the spider gears in first, and then you compress the other side as well to get as much clearance as possible. And this will give you the room you need to fit the thrust washers back in.